NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Even with above normal high temperatures today, it was our coldest day in a week. And now it's going to turn much and then much warmer. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow getting back up into the mid and upper 30s. We'll see mid to upper 40s on Friday. Still some lower 40s on Saturday before we start to cool down again as we head into early next week. Right now we are looking at temperatures that range from the lower to mid teens across the north to the mid 20s across the south. We've got clear skies and some snow on the ground across the north, so it's colder across the south. We've got cloudy skies and little or no snow on the ground, so it's much warmer. Right now in Green Bay, we are looking at cloudy conditions. You can see the uh, city lights reflecting off the low clouds. The temperature is 24 degrees with a light west to northwest wind. In Appleton, we're also looking at mostly cloudy conditions. The temperature is 21 degrees. Lots of clouds today mixing with pockets of sunshine. The clouds that we did see and are seeing really not doing anything. We've got dry weather across the upper Midwest thanks to high pressure that is now located just to our south. It will continue to control our weather throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Then we turn our attention to this warm front. On the other side of that warm front today, winds have turned to the south and southwest. And as you would expect, it's warming up 32 degrees in Bismarck, 42 in Pierre. We had 49 in Kansas City, Missouri, and that's the warmth that's going to be overspreading Wisconsin as we head through the next several days. So tomorrow, look for high temperatures to be running about 10 degrees warmer than what we saw today with a mixture of clouds and some sunshine and then even warmer weather on Friday with a gusty south to southwest wind. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s. The record high is safe. It's 56, but temperature still will be running 20 to 25 degrees above normal for this time of year. So how are we doing temperature wise so far this winter? Winter is almost two thirds over. December ended up being a cold month. January so far is going to end up being a warm month. We'll have to wait and see what happens during the month of February, but it looks like we're going to be on a bit of a roller coaster ride here as we wrap up January. Cooler conditions today. January thaw. Number three arrives tomorrow and continues through Saturday. Another brief cool down makes its way in for, let's say, Monday and Tuesday. And then the final January thaw of the month arrives for Tuesday into Wednesday before a big shot of cold air, frigid air works in as we head into early February. This cold air mass looks as cold as the one we saw back in late December and early January. The big questions right now is how much snow will we have on the ground? If we have a decent amount of snow, it's going to be frigid. If we have little or no snow, it's going to be just cold. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Overnight lows in the teens to lower 20s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds and warmer getting up into the 30s. We'll see 40s then for Friday. A cold front moves through Friday night into Saturday morning. Still warm behind that uh, front on Saturday. Lower 40s on Sunday, right around 30. Much colder, but above normal. We'll see uh, a mixture of sun and clouds on Monday with highs in the lower to mid 20s. And then we'll warm up again as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday as that final January thaw of the month moves in uh, next Wednesday with highs approaching 40 degrees. But it's like a double bonus. It's warm and it's a weekend, so it's going to be nice. Right? It's going to be a great weekend to get outside and enjoy winter here in Northeast winter. Wisconsin. All yeah. right, Cameron, <laughs> thanks for that. Well, after the break, helping in their time of need, a community rallying around a family who lost